This video will cover the topic, Solving an Equation Involving Logarithms on Both Sides, Problem Type 2. Before we begin solving problems of this type, it is important that we first review some important concepts involving logarithms. Let's go over what a natural logarithm is. A natural logarithm is a logarithm with a base of e. e is known as Euler's number, and it is roughly equivalent to 2.718. A natural logarithm is represented with an ln. And fun fact, it stands for logarithmus naturali, which is a Latin equivalent to natural logarithm. We should also go over the way that we can represent logarithmic equations in exponential form. If we have a base b logarithm of y equal to x, it could be rewritten in exponential form as b to the x power equal to y. It is also important to remember certain properties of logarithms, such as the logarithm power, product, and quotient rule. The logarithm product rule states the base b logarithm of x times y is equal to the base b logarithm of x plus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of x divided by y is equal to the base b logarithm of x minus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of x to the y power is equal to y times the base b logarithm of x. The relationship between logarithmic and exponential equations and these properties of logarithms allow us to reorganize a logarithmic equation so that we can solve for unknown variables. Okay, this seems to all make sense. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. This problem is asking us to solve for x in the logarithmic equation natural logarithm of x equal to the natural logarithm of x plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of 2. What should we do first? Our first step is to use a logarithm quotient rule to express the two logarithms, natural logarithm of x plus 2 minus the natural logarithm of 2, as one logarithm. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Because these two logarithms with the same base are equal to each other, we know that x will equal x plus 2 divided by 2. And knowing this, we can solve for x. Okay, solving for x, we find that it's equal to 2. That's exactly right. Okay, I think I understand what's going on here, but just to be sure, let me go over what I've learned. To solve an equation involving logarithms on both sides, we must remember how to rewrite logarithms in exponential form and the logarithm product, quotient, and power rules. We want to use logarithm rules to rewrite our logarithms so that we can solve for unknown variables. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.